Hi everyone, Olivia Reiner here for Packers News, joined by Ryan Wood and Tom Silverstein. Ryan, you didn't join us yesterday, we missed you. We sp <laughs> Jim and I spoke a little bit about Aaron Rodgers, whether or not he'd be playing come this weekend. He said he was gonna play. So we've still been discussing whether or not he should or should not be playing. Of course, there could, an argument could be made from either side. What are the merits of, of him actually playing this weekend? Well, he would tell you it's about leadership, and that's what he said yesterday was that he can't lead if he cashes it in week 16 with two games left. And there's probably some, some merit there. But even if you know, on the field there's, there's value for him playing too because there's really two offenses that the Packers run. There's the playbook and then there's Aaron's offense. And th those two can be different, especially with the play extensions that Rodgers has when – when he gets outside the pocket, things break down. And there's a feel for young receivers that's really hard to replicate in practice in, in the off season that you just kind of need game snaps to get comfortable with. There's a lot of improvisation, and it, it, it just takes some time and some exposure. So to maximize the remaining snaps you have left, especially considering they've got a pair of rookie receivers that in a lot of ways are the future of this passing game, these guys that Aaron Rodgers is going to be throwing to next year, uh, there, there's some value there that to get, even if they're running a different playbook, it's still going to be the same quarterback and it's still going to be the same receivers. Mm -hmm. So the receivers can get something out of it. The quarterbacks can get something out of, or excuse me, the quarterback as in Aaron Rodgers could get something out of playing together come Sunday and for the rest of the season for that matter. But what about the rest of the team? What else can be gained for the guys that aren't necessarily relying on Aaron Rodgers every play. Well, first of all, I think you want to show that uh, you want to show management that you deserve to be around, and you know, don't give them a reason for cutting you, because there's going to be a lot of change in the off season. A lot of it. That roster is going to turn, and the last thing you want to do is give them two games where you didn't really play hard, and give them a reason to cut you. So that's one. Uh, the other, you know, I, there's professional pride. I asked Philbin whether they would do anything special. I had some gadget plays and flea flickers just to keep the players interested. He said no. So I, I, I don't anticipate there being anything really special that they do on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is that people should not tune out yet. The season may be coming to an end and, and some of the games may not mean anything on paper. However, there's a lot to look forward to in the off season in terms of change. And don't tune us tune us out because that's where you're going to get all your information. <laughs> what a great segue, Tom. Thank <laughs> you so really much. Awesome. Yes, thank you guys so much for tuning into Packers News. As Tom said, we'll be covering everything, not just the last two games, but of course the coaching search, of course roster shakeup. So please, please, please keep on reading, keep on watching. We appreciate you guys joining us. See you next time.